everyone, it's Mrs. Scott with another cursive writing video. Today we are going to learn the letters V and X, and we have a bonus letter that we're going to learn, which is letter B. Um, again, this worksheet that I have comes from this book. Um, this is the book that I use when I am teaching. So let's get to it. So you have your page or you don't have your page. Remember, if you don't have your page, it doesn't matter because you can just use a piece of notebook paper and remember to write on three lines. Just draw a line across. That will be your floor or the line that you're writing on. This will be the floor, the window seal, and the ceiling. So on our page, you see, oh, remember when you set up your paper for writing, get in proper position for writing, make sure that you have, you're sitting up straight and tall, your feet are on the floor, roll your shoulders up to your ears and then drop them down. Whatever hand you write with, the opposite top corner will be higher than the side of the paper that, what I'm trying to say is if you're right handed, the top left hand corner will be higher than the top right hand corner. If you're left handed, it's the opposite. So right-handed people, you're going to tilt it this way. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna trace first. Um, you're gonna start on the floor, do a hill up to the windowsill, go down to the floor, come up, and then it has a little shelf. And in class, I like hold my hand out to the side. It's kind of like it's putting its hand out. It's like a little shelf. Um, similar to the O, remember when we do the O, you come out to the side, same thing here. You do the V and you come out to the side. So the V can have a point or it can have like a curve at the bottom. That really doesn't matter. So we're gonna trace over those. This I think is pretty simple. Just remember to start from the floor though. Um, most letters you're gonna connect from the, the ground. Okay, let's write some on our own. Make sure it doesn't look too much like a U though. That's why, to be honest, I'm more of a, I'm, it's almost like a printed V for me, to be honest. I just come up and, and that's a little bit too close on the inside, but. This one I think is pretty simple. Start on the floor, come up to the window seal, come down to the floor, make a spike, come up and put your little shelf or your little hand out to the side and then celebrate your success. This is my favorite one. I don't know which one that you guys liked. But that's my favorite. Ooh, that's a bad star. Okay, the X is kind of funny. The X is a letter that you will pick up your writing utensil to finish the letter. But I will tell you that when you're writing any letters, like T is like this, I is like this, um, the X is like this, I can't think of any more. Um, you will have to pick up your writing utensil to finish the letter. So I'll show you. The first thing you want to do is you're going to make this like, I don't even know what kind of shape this is. Like, uh, you go start at the floor, go up, make a hill, go down, and a tail. And then you come back and finish it. But when you're writing a word, you finish writing the whole word, and then you go back and you dot your I's, cross your T's, and then finish your X's if you need to. So we're starting on the floor, making a hill to the windowsill, coming down to the floor, and making a tail. And then you come back and you cross it. So this shape is probably the most difficult part of it is just making sure that when you're going for your hill and you're coming down, you're do doing a good enough slant that when you cross it, it looks okay. Because if you don't and you come straight down, then it kind of, you gotta get in there. So make sure it's a big enough slant that you can make your X. So let's make some on our own. So right on the floor, we make our hill, come down to the floor and then make your tail. Pretty simple. It works really well. Oh, let me go and finish it. And sometimes I will forget to do certain things like that. Sorry, I'm going fast. Make your heel come down, tail, and cross. Um, I think I, ooh, I think, I think it's this one. I make a different star. My first one was pretty bad. Okay, so then they connect the VV and then VA, van. Box is one of your words though, and they didn't teach you box. That doesn't come until later, but guess what? We're going to learn it today. Let's get out your notebook paper. 
All right, so I'm gonna teach you the B really quick. So the B is kind of like an L. So this is, here I go, throwing in letters. An L you start on the floor, you go all the way up to the top and you just make a big um, loop. The thing about the L though, you don't wanna cross too high um, and you don't wanna make it too fat. Um, definitely don't wanna go above the line there. But you wanna start on the floor, you go up, you make a loop, come down and cross closer to the bottom of like closer to the floor. So that's an L. So a B, I'm gonna pick three new lines. A B, you start on the floor, you go up like an L, like you make your loop. When you come down, you come up for, from your tail and then you make that shelf like the V. So that is a B. So like this would be the difference in a word. So that's locks. This is box. So it's a subtle um, difference, but it, I mean, that, that changes the word completely. You have to make sure that you're putting that little shelf, that little handout to the side of the L for your, to make a B. So I will walk through um, box a little bit slowly, slower, I should say, than I did before. So start on the floor, make your L all the way up to the ceiling, come all the way back down, cross right before you get to the floor. Then you're coming up from your, that's your tail like we normally make, but then you're gonna go out to the side like a little shelf. Then make a hook, trace the part of the hook, come back around. Remember, you're still in the air because it's a O and it connects in the air and you're just gonna drop down like a roller coaster hill and then cross it over. Let's do box again. Go up, come down, hit the floor, come up, do your little handle. When you, at the end of your B, that's when you go even farther out and make your hook. And then come back all the way to the ground, curly cue, roller coaster down, and cross. So that's box. That's, I think the B is fun to make. The biggest thing is not to treat that, um, like I'll show you. When you come up and do this, don't like go back over it. Like it, you need that space. You don't wanna like go back over. That's why I said when you do your little handout, just make another little hook and then go back. Um, so box is a word that we can do. We can do van. And I, I also taught you L, so. So now we're up to, let's see if I can do them in the correct order. A, D, C, O, G, Q, N, M, X, V, O. We threw in U, and now I threw an L. So we're, we're making our way. All right, so for Van, we're gonna start on the floor, go up to the windowsill, come down, spike it, come up, make that shelf, then make a hook for your A, Trace that top part, come down to the floor, go up, connect it, come back down to the floor, come up to the windowsill, come straight down, and then you're gonna make, go up your hill, and then your tail. So that's Van. I have new music today, so I don't even know what this is playing, so. <laughs> but I, I I meant to play one song and this start playing and I didn't hate it, so. All right, start on the floor, make a hill, spike it down, come up, make that handout or that shelf, make a hook at the top, go back where you came from, go all the way to the floor, connect it, come back down to the floor, up, straight down, make your hill to the windowsill, and then out. Okay, well, that is the it. You can also do ox with this to help with your O and your X, so start Windows, well for the O, I start on the windowsill. There's no reason to start on the floor. So for the O, if a word starts with O, just go ahead and start at the windowsill, go down to the floor, come up, connect it, curly Q, stay up top, roller coaster down, tail, and cross. So have fun with this, practice, fill up your page, make as many words as you can with the letters that we've learned, and as always, have a great day.